Race to Win, a sailing podcast brought to you by RaceCues.com. We review 3D regatta replays and analyze racing tactics, rules, and winning strategies. This is the fifth in a series of podcasts about upwind race geometry. In my last podcast, I talked about how essential it is to sail as close to the wind as possible so that you sail the minimum possible distance on the upwind leg. In this podcast, I'm going to talk about VMG, or Velocity Made Good. What is VMG? Put simply, VMG is the amount of progress you are making directly upwind or directly downwind, depending on what leg of the course you're on. Let me draw some lines on the course and show you what I'm talking about. If you'll go back to high school physics with me for a moment, you'll recall that the velocity of Lima, the boat I have selected here, can be divided into vectors. One vector would be going to the left across the course, and the other vector would be going directly upwind. When these two vectors are combined, you get the approximately five knots that Lima is making on their close hauled course to windward. Velocity made good is the measurement of the direct to windward vector. RaceQs has a number of tools built in to help you assess your velocity made good at any given point on the race. The first tool is the trajectory lines, which I introduced in the last podcast. If you click on a section of a boat's trajectory line, you will see the average course, speed, and velocity made good that that boat was sailing on that section of the course. One important thing to note here is that the algorithm RaceQs uses to average a boat's course, speed, and VMG will not do so if it is too widely distributed. What that means is that if a boat is sailing all over the map, Race cues won't display a trajectory line for that section of their course. So it's pretty easy to tell how good a skipper of any given boat is based on how solid their trajectory lines are. If they're sailing within a very narrow range um, and they're holding essentially the same course, speed, and VMG, then race cues will display a trajectory line and you'll be able to click it and get the average for that section. If, on the other hand, they're not responding well to the puffs and they're overcorrecting their steering in the shifts, race cues probably won't be able to average that section very well and therefore it won't display a trajectory line for that section of their track. Okay, the next tool I want to introduce you to is called the VMG display. The VMG display, much like the trajectory line, is a very useful tool for learning how to become a better skipper. I've pulled it up here, and you can see a bunch of green dots coming out of Lima's bow. The dots represent her angle to windward and the speed she's going. The farther the dots are from Lima, the faster she's going, and of course the angle on the polar chart represents the angle she's sailing at that particular moment. Slowly the dots will fade away, so the brighter the dot, the more recent data it's representing. A really talented skipper will have a very narrow cluster of dots, a very small cluster, meaning that they're holding the same course and speed despite the wind shifts, the puffs, and the chops. A less experienced skipper will have a wider spread. I'm going to switch boats and switch to a little bit earlier in the race and show you a skipper that has a little bit more experience. You can see here that Bravo's cluster of dots is very narrow, especially once they settled into the groove after the tack. All of the bright dots, the more recent ones, are right on top of each other. Um, so he's doing a really good job of holding his course and his speed. Now I'm going to switch to an even less experienced skipper in Foxtrot and show you what a wider spread looks like. Here you can see that Foxtrot is really having trouble holding its course and holding its speed. It's a pretty wide spread. I think it's a pretty common mistake among less experienced sailors to correct more than is actually necessary. It's a natural instinct to want to compensate for the shift in conditions, and beginners tend to do it more than they ought to. It was a puffy day with a little bit of chop, 
and if I zoom in, you'll also see that Foxtrot is struggling in the dirty air of another boat, which also explains their widespread. Okay, I'm going to switch to the downwind leg and talk about velocity made good versus velocity made to course, or VMC. Velocity made good is the measurement of a boat's progress directly upwind or directly downwind. In other words, the measurement of that vector. VMC, or velocity made to course, is the measurement of the vector that's pointing toward a boat's destination. You can see here that Lima's speed and their VMG are nearly identical. That's because it's a downwind leg and they're pointing directly at the mark. It's important to note here that Race Cues uses VMC for reaching legs and downwind legs and VMG for upwind legs. VMC is also used often in distance racing, which is often comprised of mostly reaching legs. Generally, I would say that VMC, or velocity made to course, is always applicable because it's always measuring the velocity vector to your destination. VMG, on the other hand, is only useful in a direct windward leeward scenario and is not particularly useful when there's any sort of reaching leg involved. Okay, I'm going to turn the um, VMG tool back on and it's pretty fun to look at how different uh, skippers and spinnaker trimmers do uh, on the downwind relative to how the skipper and the jib trimmer do on the upwind. Some pairs are really talented at keeping a nice tight spread going upwind, and some are much more talented going downwind. You can see here that Kilo has a slightly better spread than Lima, and if I go to India, you see a really nice tight spread on this downwind leg. They're doing a great job of holding a steady course. Okay, that's it for this week's episode of Race to Win. I hope you've enjoyed it. Download the Race Cues app, and next time you go racing, you can measure your own VMG and figure out how to make it even better. Make sure you leave us a review on iTunes and check out our website at www.racecues.com slash podcast. And happy sailing. See you next time.